I am Yuto Tanaka. I work as a literary editor for a major publishing company. I edit manuscripts written by writers and, and send them out to the world as books. I have loved novels since I was a child, so I was very happy when I was hired. I was a contract worker with a low salary, but I was satisfied with my job. I want to work closely with writers to create many interesting works. That's what I was thinking. But reality was not so sweet. The sales of the new book that was released last month are not so good. Now is the time of unprecedented publishing recession. Except for a few very popular authors, most of the authors were having a tough time. First edition sales are also falling rapidly. If it doesn't make it to the bookstore, no matter how interesting the book is, readers won't pick it up. Unless a miracle happens, it will be buried as it is. Hiragi Sensei worked so hard on her manuscript. Tanaka-san, how did you like the manuscript this time? Hiragi Sensei, this work is definitely a masterpiece. I'm sure it will be well received by many readers. I'm glad. It was worth a year of work. I'll make sure it's a hit. This one is definitely interesting. If only I could get people to pick it up. I'm sure it will be well received. As an editor and lover of novels, I can't just stand by and watch a masterpiece get buried. Tanaka, what are you doing? I'm trying to promote this novel on social networking sites. I'm filming it. Oh, come on, seriously? How do you do it? I mean, you know, the publisher has a social networking account. They're just announcing the release of the book, right? Instead of that, I think it's better for the editors to send out a personal message. I think it conveys more passion. And I want to do everything I can to sell her work. I don't think the salespeople are going to like that. I shot a video to post on social networking sites to promote it. I rewrote the script many times and reshot the video to clearly show how interesting the book is. It was a no-win situation for a while after I posted it, and... <laughs> hey Tanaka, you posted a promotional video on social networking sites. Oh yes, yes, that's right. That's our field of sales. Don't get involved too much. I'm sorry, but I wanted to do what I could do to sell Hiragi Sensei's works. <clears throat> it's not going to get popular with a poorly made video like that. You have to be smarter about the advertising you do to sell something. <laughs> Damn it, you're just an editor. Oh, you're back. You went to nail that editor, didn't you? Yeah, I gave him a hard time. I told him that he will never make a sale with such a poorly made video. Hello, I'm Takahashi from Character Manga Publishing Sales Department. You're placing an additional order? For Hiragi Sensei's Schrodinger's dog. Yes, I understand. I will make arrangements immediately. Hello? Additional order for Schrodinger's dog, right? Yes, sir. I can't believe that people keep placing additional orders for a work that has been on the market for several months. Normally, they are taken off the shelves after a month and almost no orders for more. What is going on here? Hey, look at this. The video that was posted by the editor the other day. It's going crazy! What? Oh, man. This is ruining our face. And after a while, sales department came to me. Hey, Tanaka. Yes? Rogi Sensei's Schrodinger's dog is going to be reprinted. Really? Ever since that video you posted went crazy, I've been getting a lot of orders for it from bookstores. This is the biggest reprint ever in our company! <sighs> I'm sorry I underestimated you. I reported it to Hiragi Sensei right after that. Reprint! I can't believe that was a word I had a connection to. I thought I was going to end up as a permanent first printing author. I'm so glad too! Thanks to Tanaka-san for promoting it. No, it's not. It's because Hiragi Sensei's manuscript was wonderful. No matter how much I advertise something that is of poor quality, it won't make it popular. I just help get the word out. 
I heard that the video I posted before created a lot of buzz. It seems that my poor but enthusiastic way of communicating was able to get everyone's attention. I knew I could convey the enthusiasm. I will continue to use social networking sites to get the word out. After that, I often posted videos on social networking sites to promote. The book that I introduced sold like pancakes. The excitement spread to the bookstore staff and started to have special sections set up for the book. Soon after, I received offers to appear on TV. I guess it's too much to be in the media. Editors are just behind the scenes. Some people might think I'm getting carried away. No, I'll do it if it will bring even a little bit of attention to the work that the writers put their heart and soul into. I've appeared on TV and in the online media. I was so absorbed in talking about my favorite books, my character became a hot topic of conversation, and I was asked to be on various TV programs. As I responded to their requests, I became well known as a famous editor. Tanaka, I heard that your work has been reprinted again. It's amazing! I'm glad to hear that the writer has been rewarded. It seems you've been introducing other companies' works recently too. I'm sure you're getting something in return, right? Getting too much in return? No, I haven't received a single penny. What? You're promoting another company's work for free? No, I'm not. I'm just voluntarily recommending works that I think are good. When money is involved, it seems impure. You're too serious. Tanaka-kun, can I talk to you for a minute? Boss! <sighs> The one who approached me was Asako Kanzaki, the president of Character Manga Publishing. She just became a president recently. I headed to the president's office. The president started the conversation. You've been in the media a lot lately. I think you're getting pampered so much that you've forgotten what it means to be an editor. Editors are supposed to be in the back. They are not supposed to be in the public eye. And it is unacceptable to recommend other companies' work. Why are you benefiting your enemies? You are not aware that you are an employee of our company. With all due respect, boss, I don't think that's right. Even if another company's work sells well, it is not a loss for this company. If the book sells well and people find it interesting, readers will pick up other books as well. It will benefit the industry as a whole. We are not enemies. We are colleagues in the publishing industry. And I'm not in the media to be pampered. I'm in it to get my work known and sell it. I do my job as an editor. You're so cocky. Anyway, no more media appearances of any kind from now on. No more book sharing on social networking sites except our companies. This is an order from the president. If you break it, I'll fire you immediately. No way. It's not just me. But the whole industry is starting to get attention. We'll be back to where we were. What I should do as an editor is... After much thought and consideration, I've decided to make a decision. Uh, are you serious? Yes, I'm resigning. If you stay with us, I can give you the post of an editor-in-chief as a full-time employee. You will receive the salary that is unthinkable for someone of your age, but you're still quitting? Yes, I won't change my mind. Okay, then you can do whatever you want. I have to warn you, don't think you can just casually switch to another publishing house. It's too late to regret it after you've quitted. I'm sorry. This is how I quit my job at Character Manga Publishing. I started looking for a new job, but I was turned down by all the big companies. According to what I heard, Asako-san is watching over me. Just when I was at my wit's end, a certain publishing company approached me. It was a small publishing company called Sprinkler Publishing. I went for an interview. Serika Mizusawa, the president of the company, interviewed me in person. Tanaka-kun, I've been watching your work for a long time. I'd like you to join us. Are you sure? I think the president of my old company is glaring at you. Big publishers have ties and all that. But we're a startup, so it doesn't matter. Besides, you've been doing a lot of work for the publishing industry, haven't you? I think it's very excellent. 
we have to keep on bringing in new things. You can do whatever you want without any restrictions. Let's make the publishing industry more exciting together. Serika-san, thank you very much. I look forward to working with you. I started working for Sprinkler Publishing and started social networking activity again. I was very grateful to Hiragi-san and the other writers who supported me. I promoted the works I was in charge of, and they all became hits. Of course, it's only because they are interesting enough to be worth promoting. I heard that Tanaka's company, Sprinkler Publishing, has been releasing hit titles one after another. He's a media person himself, so he's strong even if the company changes. Did you hear about our president? I heard that there's a problem among shareholders over the fact that she kicked out Tanaka. I heard that she might be removed soon. Damn, this can't be happening. I've just become president. I thought I'd be able to earn more money. This is all Tanaka-kun's fault. If only he hadn't done something unnecessary. Tanaka-kun, I heard that your book has finally sold over a million copies. This is the third million seller. That's good. Thank you very much. I'm sure the writers in charge of the book will be pleased. Speaking of which, the work you were advertising before was published by Character Manga Publishing, wasn't it? You have a history with the president. Is it okay for you to give her a profit? I've had a lot of trouble with the president, but I have to promote good works. Besides, I consider everyone in the publishing industry as my colleagues. Yeah, I think that's excellent. I'm glad you came to us, Tanaka-kun. Let's make many more interesting things. Yes, I'm looking forward to working with you. We will continue to promote interesting books for everyone to read. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm just an ordinary university student. I joined a soccer club to enjoy campus life. Damn, my girlfriend blocked me again. Oh, he's getting rough again. I think I joined the wrong club. The one who's acting out over there is Ryugo Kiryu. He's a senior member of the club and used to be known as a motorcycle gang member. He has a tendency to be pushy and has been repeatedly getting girlfriends and then being rejected by them. What the heck? I can't stand people who hit on things. They all cheat on me. Damn. You guys go get some girls. Oh, girls? A group blind date. Find three girls by next week. Beautiful girls only. If we don't do as he says, we'll get into trouble again, won't we? I don't want him to break something again. We are already running out of money. We'll just have to get the girls. So we're looking for girls to come to the group date. But the bad reputation of my senior was more than I expected. And it was very difficult to find girls. What? You're going on a blind date with that senior Ryugo? That's impossible. The senior member of the women's basketball club told us not to get within a 5 meter radius of him. What do you mean by a senior member of the women's basketball club? Oh, his girlfriend before the last girlfriend. I'd like to do anything for my juniors ask of me, but my friend went out with them and had the worst time. Oh, four girlfriends ago. Even at his workplace. Huh? I know Ryugo Kiryu from somewhere. He's the guy who's been banned from our restaurant because of his antics. That's right. He played baseball with fried chicken and destroyed the restaurant facilities. I can't stand people who play with food. What should I do? Two days to go and I can't catch a single one. We don't have a choice. Last resort, I'm going to call on some of my old friends. What's the last resort? It's a little complicated, but it might be good medicine for him. Honestly, I was thinking like, hey, let me make him understand. And then on the day of the event, Misaki Okita, a friend of mine, and her juniors gathered there. Wow, it's a nice restaurant. I've never been to a place like this before. Looks like people from Minotaku come here. But I didn't know Yuto was setting up this blind date. He's totally a university student. No, no, I'm glad you're here. A jackpot of beautiful women! It's going to spit out 5,000 coins. The analogy's a little confusing. 
I got them here through a friend of mine, and they all like strong men. I won! Especially that girl in the middle, Misaki. She's mine! I'm going to book a hotel room. And so, the group blind date began, with Ryugo in high spirits. Let's begin with self-introductions. I'm the first one up! I'm Ryugo Kiryu! I'm good at fighting, of course! Wow, you are literally proud of your fighting skills. I'm Misaki Okita. I like strong men. Then let me tell you something. When I was a junior in high school, I was surrounded by 50 men. And that's how I won the big one! What do you think? Hmm... So, what's your name? Next. What? Me? No, I just wanted to hear more about Ryugo. <laughs> then I'll tell you about the time I dealt with 70 people. No, I don't want it. I wondered what kind of a saga it would be, but it's just a story about punching and being punched, right? That's a common story, isn't it? I've heard similar stories a hundred times. What? Of course not! Hold it together. How about the story of the motorcycle gang you were leading? Oh, yes! My Asiura was a well-known motorcycle gang. In its heyday, people would run away at the mere mention of our name in the Shima on the streets. Hmm, what's a Shima? No, oh, it means territory. No, I mean a range. You know, from where to where. A town. <laughs> no, it's a city. There was no one in the city who didn't know. <laughs> Senior, don't laugh. Hey, it's Nagoya City or something, right? Or at least Fukuoka City. No, it's in my hometown. <laughs> you! I'm an egalitarian. I won't go easy on you just because you're a woman. <laughs> That's the only thing we agree on. I'm also of the opinion that there is no gender in a fight. Don't think you can go home like this. Oh, don't be violent. No, oh, it's okay, it's okay. What? What is it? What happened? I'm not even going to let him go rampage. Oh my gosh! She got him down in one breath! And if I bet this joint this way... Jeez! You've exceeded the range of motion of a human being! Senior, your food will get cold. We're eating first. Oh, that's not fair, you guys. Even the fee is not cheap. It hurts. I'll get the bill. Let go of me. Really? Guys, this guy will get the bill. Damn, I feel like my hips are bent in the wrong direction. Are you sure? It's pretty expensive here. That's because you told me to go to that kind of place. Three women can't eat that much. I hope so. Well, now that I've been dragged into this boring conversation, we have to get our money's worth. Thank you for the meal! Excuse me, waiter. I'd like Spanish-style garlic shrimp, steak, roast beef, and some drinks too. What? Strong people eat well, regardless of gender. I also want fish. I'd like the sea bream aqua pazza. Um, we have quail roasted whole. Let's compare it with herb roasted GBA. Oh, we have this year's Beaujolais. Let's drink this one too. Hey, wait. In the end, Misaki and the others ate for two hours straight. Thanks a lot! How much was it? It spits out 5,000 coins. I don't know, but I'm sure it's a lot. Yuto! You're the one who brought those people here! Oh, no. He finally started hitting on the juniors. Shut up! Shut up, you outsider! Yuto, give me the money now! Huh? Yuto, I know you chose to live in peace, but... I think this is a good time to let him know, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. That's what I was thinking, too. Don't talk nonsense. If I have to hurt you to let you pay, I'll give you what you want. Well, it's been a while, but hopefully I can go easy on him. Ugh! Ryugo is getting hit one way or the other! Is it just one town? This is what a leader of the range would look like. What the hell? What the hell are you? Have you ever heard of the motorcycle gang Kiaraman? Oh, of course! I've heard of them! Led by the ogre leader, Tanaka. <laughs> Tanaka? Well, it's a common name, so it's understandable if you don't recognize it. This man is Yuto Tanaka. 
the leader of the motorcycle gang. His territory is... Kanto area, I guess. What? It was not my lucky day when the senior member of the club I joined was a used-to-be motorcycle gang member. Even though I was planning to lead a normal university life. It's the senior who's really unlucky, though. It was funny, like he was bragging about his amateur baseball game in front of Ichiro. So, what are you going to do? Do you want to continue? No, no. I'm done. I give up. Okay. Now that's settled, let's go to the after party. Of course, Ryuta's buying. I'm Ryugo. I can't go any further. Oh? It's Ryuta! I'll be happy to go with you. That's right. Let's drink! Yay! <laughs> He's my senior, so go easy on him, okay? I'll at least leave him enough money for food this month. Yuto, you still owe me, right? Well, I'll be damned. What should I do? Go on a date with me. Oh, finally! She asked him to go on a date with her. If she won a fight, a run, or a big meal, and she lost all of them. There! Shut up! It's okay, as long as I win in the end. Oh, oh my god, god. That's, that's scary. I didn't know Yuto was such a big deal. Why didn't you go out with Misaki? Well, there are a lot of reasons. But I've got no choice now. I'm going to make up my mind. Okay, that's a promise. Let's have a meeting at the after party. Oh! oh. Be gentle! And so, I'm going on a date with Misaki. And a few days later... I finally got this chance! I'll definitely take it! I wonder if that's the right thing to say in front of me. I believe in going head to head. I'm going to take you down today! <laughs> the pressure is too much. Oh, I know. I'm talking about Ryugo. After what happened that day spread throughout the university, Ryugo completely lost his position. He even quit the club because he didn't have a place in it anymore. He doesn't even come to the university much anymore. Thanks to that, a number of new members has increased. And the lack of membership fees has been completely solved. Hmm. I don't care about Ryuta. Focus on your date now. She won't let me take the pressure off. Why do you care about me so much? Did you forget? It's not that I forgot about it. I ran away from home for some trivial reason. And I took advantage of my strengths and did whatever I wanted. I was really terrible back then. There was no one to scold me. I think I would have fallen to the bottom if I had stayed there. I don't know. But Yuto beat me up. You listened to me and told me to stop doing stupid things. You showed me what a strong person should do in the back. Since then, I've only watched your back. So, you graduated from the bad girl group and reconciled with your parents, right? I told you over and over not to hang out with motorcycle gangs anymore. I like what I like. I mean, if you're saying no to motorcycle gangs, then I can hang out with you now without any problem. Oh, shoot! That's a terrible thing to say. Anyway, I'm not going to give up. I'll make you hang out with me as many times as I want. Until you fall madly in love with me. <laughs> I guess I can't run away from this one. And so began the serious competition between me and Misaki. One year later, Misaki ends up winning. But that's another story. One day, I got in an accident and had to be hospitalized for a long time. Broken leg and rehabilitation. I was just getting ready to have a long relationship with this hospital, but I had an unexpected reunion. You, Totonika. I knew it was you. Ayumi Kurosaki, one of the nurses who takes care of me. She was my ex-girlfriend when I was a student. I was dumped when I was a student, and we had grown apart since then. I never expected that she had become a nurse. She's still as beautiful as she was then, but she has not changed her harsh personality. You're not so lucky, are you? You must be in the prime of your career right now, and too bad to be hospitalized like this. Did you apologize to the company for the trouble you caused? No, I don't think that's necessary. What? What do you mean? Oh, that's what you mean. I don't care about you. 
but you should pay your hospital bill. Mayumi's response to me. I mean, even without considering the fact that we're acquaintances, it was still very sloppy. Apparently, she thought I was unemployed, even for her jobs that she's supposed to do. You should have done that yourself. She would throw everything she has to do at others. Don't worry about it. Kurosaki-san is always like that. When she's in a bad mood, she's always hitting all the patients. Apparently, she has this attitude toward people other than me, and she doesn't have a very good reputation. I don't know if I should say this, but I wonder how she can work like that here. And yet, I've managed to stay in the hospital, thanks to the other nurse. Tanaka-san, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Thank you, Shirasagi-san. If you have any trouble, please let me know right away. I will do my best to support you. Her name is Ayano Shirasagi. She is in charge of me, along with Miyumi. Well, she is the one who does most of the work. My impression of her is the complete opposite of Mayumi's. She has a somewhat childish cuteness and always works hard to take care of me. She has a reputation among other patients for being the very definition of an angel. She also has the opposite reputation as Mayumi, and Mayumi and Shirasagi-san don't seem to get along very well. A patient I met in the hospital told me about a time when he stopped by near the nurse's station. Oh my god, I'm wasting my time again. Kurosaki-san, you were talking about the local singles party you mentioned the other day? Yes, yes. No good man showed up. Oh, why is my marriage life so unsuccessful? I want to get married to a rich man, quit this job, and live a comfortable life. Don't you think so, Shirasagi-san? Well, I'm... if I could, I'd like to keep this job forever. What? It's a lot of hassle. Patients look at you with disgust. And you have to work a lot of overtime. <laughs> it's not a good workplace. That's a terrible thing to say. I'm happy to be able to help people. I think all my patients are good people. Huh. Why are you acting like a good girl? If you want to help people so much, why don't you do my job for me? That patient Tanaka is so annoying. I don't think so. Even Tanaka-san is a good person. Even though he must be anxious because of my serious injury, he is smiling and concerned about me. But I understand. I'm in charge of Tanaka-san too. So I will take good care of him. Hmm. So there was a conversation like that. I was the one who was being in the topic, so he told me about it. I kind of feel bad for Shirasagi-san. I don't want to cause her too much trouble. But I have to rely on her a lot. I don't know what to do. A few days later, I went out to the courtyard to buy a drink and rest a little, and found Shirasagi-san on a bench. She seems to be reading a book. Hello, Shirasagi-san. Ah, Tanaka-san. Oh, you were buying drinks by any chance? If you had told me, I would have bought it for you. No, no, I'm just a bit tired of sleeping on the bed all the time. It's a nice change of pace. By the way, that book. Oh, this is a novel by my favorite author. Do you know Yuto Yabusame? Oh, of course I know him. Really? I'm a huge fan. I read all his books. Have you read them too, Tanaka-san? Yes, well, I've read all of them. Really? I never thought I would meet like-minded people here. The new one is coming out next month, so I'm currently rereading the previous one. I'm really looking forward to it. When I read Yobasama Sensei's books, I feel so happy to be alive. <laughs> Maybe that's a little over the top. I see. I'm glad. What? Why, Tanaka-san? Oh, no. It's... <laughs> well, as a fellow bookworm, it makes me happy to meet someone who likes to read. I know what you mean. Well, it may sound strange to ask this to a patient, but I'd like to know what you think about the books, Tanaka-san, if you don't mind. What? It's not too difficult. We could have a light-hearted exchange of opinions. I mean, I don't know many people around me who like to read. Oh, not good at thinking about what I think. I'm just a little surprised. Of course, if you want to talk about novels, I'd be happy to talk about novels with you. I'm glad to hear that. I'm looking forward to talking with you. After that, discussing novels with Shirasagi-san became a daily routine. 
She would visit my hospital room every now and then, not only when she was working, but also when she found time for a visit. I got to know her very well because of these daily routines. I also found out how much she really loved Yuto Yabusame's books. So I thought of a surprise for her. Hmm. Shirasagi-san, are you mad at me? I'm not angry at all. I'm just thinking that she came to visit you today too. Kanaka-san, you look happy when she comes, and she's a beautiful woman. I'm not jealous at all, not at all. Oh no, she's not like that. It's okay. I'm just a fellow book reader who can be with Tanaka-san in the hospital for a limited time. You don't have to worry about me. It's not that I'm worried about you, Ayano-san. What? I have a gift for you. A present? For me? Yes. I'm leaving the hospital soon, so I thought I'd give you something before I go. Here it is! A surprise for her. It was Yuto Yabusame's latest work, which has not yet been released. What? How did you get this? I got it as an author's dedication. Huh? Well, actually, I'm Yuto Yabusame. Huh? I'm sorry for not telling you. It's just that I haven't had a good time to tell you. Shirasagi-san is too... I mean, you praise Yuto Yabusame so much that... I felt embarrassed to say my name. So, you were in the hospital room with your computer open because... Yes, I was writing this piece. Whether Shirasagi-san likes my work or not, I was able to write calmly during my hospital stay thanks to you. So, as a way of saying thank you, I'd like to send you a copy of my new work. Please accept it! Also, the woman Shirasagi-san was talking about is my editor! I don't understand what's going on here, but I'd like to ask you one more question. Yes, what is it? If you don't mind, I'd like your autograph, teacher. <laughs> of course. Don't call me a teacher. I feel like you're kind of distant from me. <laughs> here you go. Wow, the autograph I've been longing for. Thank you, Yuto-san. That's my pleasure, too. Thank you, Ayano-san! Mm hmm? Yuto is... And then came the day of discharge. The last person to come to the hospital room was... What a surprise! It was Mayumi! Yuto, congratulations on your discharge! Whoa, out of the blue! I'm congratulating you. And... I thought I'd date you again. What? I heard you're a famous author. I heard you've made some movies, so you must be making a lot of money. So I thought it would be nice to get back together with you. Yuto, aren't you happy? I won't ask you to do that. You've been making fun of me for a long time. That's because I thought you were unemployed. But you make a lot of money, don't you? I don't trust people who easily change their attitude based on their position. Especially if it's my girlfriend. What do you mean? It's true that I was once in a relationship with you, but that's in the past. Besides, I'm already in love with someone else, so I'm sorry. Hey! What is that? I'm the one who called out to you! Yuto-san! Uh, oh, Mayumi-san! Excuse me, are you in the middle of something? Yes, so get the hell out of here! No, it's okay. I'm done talking to her. Mayumi, I mean Kurosaki-san... So this is it. <laughs> Don't get so high just because you've sold a few copies. You never know when you'll stop selling. It's too late to have regrets then. Ayano-san, I'm sorry I showed you something weird. By the way, you seemed upset. Did something happen? No, no. Yuto-san is leaving the hospital today. But I didn't know what to do when I thought of my last greeting. So I decided to let the momentum take over. <laughs> That didn't go so well. Once again, congratulations on your discharge. As the charge nurse, I'm very happy for you. I really am. Oh, Ayano-san! Uh, I'm sorry. I thought Yuto-san was finally getting out of the hospital. But to be honest, I had more sad feelings that this time is already here. I wanted to be with you more. And before I knew it, 
The time I spent talking with Yito-san became more precious than reading. So, more. I'm sorry. It's not nice to be told this way. I was actually trying to tell you more properly. I... Yuto-san... Ayano-san! That's my line! Ayano-san was the reason I was able to enjoy my time in the hospital. That's why I don't want it to end even if I get out of the hospital. What do you mean? That's... Ayano-san, I like you. Will you stay with me from now on? <sighs> I'm looking forward to being with you. I love you, Yuto-san. This is how we got together. At first, when I was hospitalized, I was depressed to a certain extent. But in the end, it was a very worthwhile experience for me. I am grateful for this encounter. And I really want to write more interesting works to please Ayano-san. I'm a worker, Yuto Tanaka. I work for a sporting goods manufacturer. I am in charge of training new employees and mid-career hires. So today is the start of training for new graduates. I wonder what kind of people are joining us this year. Nice to meet you all. I'm Yuto Tanaka, the training manager. You may be thinking, what am I going to do in the gym? What I want you to learn is essential skills to become an employee of this company. Business manners and the mindset of a worker. Please check what is placed in front of you. Are these running shoes? Yes, they are our company's best-selling model. Now I'm going to ask you all to put these on. Whoa! They fit great! Are you ready? Okay, everyone. Please run 10 laps around the building. 10 laps! If it's too hard, you can walk. Then, let's start. I haven't run like this for a long time. This reminds me of my club activity days. It's kind of fresh. Everyone, you have reached the goal. Thank you for your hard work. I'm so tired. I guess I'm not exercising as much as I used to. Well, let's do five more laps here. What? Oh, isn't that the end? You're doing it again this year, aren't you? Reika-san. Her name is Reika Himuro the manager of the sales department. You'll be called an unreasonable employee again. <laughs> it's not that I like doing it. It's just that we are a sporting goods manufacturer. How much lighter our products feel when you're tired. I think it is necessary to experience it in order to sell our products. Yes, indeed. And it's also important to have a thorough grounding in business etiquette at the beginning. Yes. If you don't have it in place, you will be embarrassed in the business world. For their sake, we have to teach them strictly. It's not like a vaccination, but it's kind of a mindset. There are employees in the sales department who have undergone Yuto Kun's training. They are still active today. They are so well trained in business matters that they have a reputation for being like an army. Thanks to them, the department's overall performance has been on the rise for the past few years. That's good to hear. Please continue to train them hard. It's for their future. Leave it to me. I'll make sure they have a solid base as a member of society. Yes, please finish. Thank you for your hard work this time. I'm so tired. I can finally rest. I need a drink of water. This year's new employees are all very diligent. Hello? Hmm? You are... I'm Momoka Momozono, a new employee! You arrived just now? You're very late. Was the train delayed? Not at all. The train was running normally. I just overslept. What? That's no good. No? Isn't the meeting time too early? He all didn't do much anyway. What's with this girl? What's with the language? <laughs> Next is the classroom lecture. So you'd better get ready too. Alright. Let's start the business manner training. Wherever you are going to be assigned. Wow. I'm so sleepy. Hey. Stop yawning there. And put your phone away. Eh? It's fine. 
I'm just using it as a watch. No, it's obvious. You're swiping it, right? You're not a fully functioning member of society. Oh, you don't mind talking to me like that? What? I'm a relative of the president. Haven't you heard about that? She's related to the president? Seriously? I remember hearing that. One of this year's new hires is related to the president. You can complain to me all you want. I'll tell the president. Then, you know what will happen, don't you? <laughs> now he'll be so scared that he won't say anything, right? I don't care who you are. Since you joined us, you're a member of our company. I won't let you behave in an embarrassing manner. I'm sure the president will understand. You're being so serious. I'm going to take a break. See you later. Oh, hey. That's a hell of a lack of motivation. A few days later, my situation would change drastically. Later, I was summoned to the president's office. So, you're Yuto Tanaka. The reason I called you to the president's office like this... I want you to let Momoka Momozono do as she pleases from now on. What? Are you taking her side? I've been watching Momoka since she was a little girl. I have doted on her as much as I can. I can't put her through that kind of pain. You understand that, don't you? I understand your feelings. But I can't give her special treatment. I don't think that spoiling her is love. Besides, I don't think it would be good for the other employees. I see. So that's your intention. Then, you'll be transferred to another branch. What? Momoka told me to do that. She wants me to do something about Tanaka. If you won't listen to me, I have no choice but to have you transferred. I can't agree to that. It should be my job to correct the mistakes of newcomers. If you think of her as an important relative, don't you think so? It's not a matter of logic. So, what do you think, Tanaka-kun? Are you going to listen to me or not? I'm... I can't change my opinion. I can't be of any more help to you. You mean, you're resigning? That's fine too. Now I can give a good report to Momoka. And then... That employee, Tanaka, he resigned? Yay! Thank you, Uncle! <laughs> it's for the sake of my beloved Momoka. Now you can work at your pace. Tanaka-san, he quit. But honestly, I might be able to relax now. He was so strict, wasn't he? Yeah, you don't have to work hard. <sighs> I never thought I'd have to leave my job. It's better than doing what they say and holding on to the company. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Hmm, phone call. Hello? Do you remember me? You are... Her name is Lisa Nishida. She's the president of our rival company. I've met her a few times. We exchanged contact information at that time. I heard that you quit the company. You had a dispute with the president's relative's daughter, didn't you? Yes, I did. In that case, I'm free to scout for you, right? What? I've been watching your company. The training of new recruits there is pretty solid. I'd love to have you as the person in charge of training. Risa-san. It's my policy that employees are assets. If you're free, I'd like to make a formal offer. I'd like to see you put your talents to work for us. Or maybe you owe your former company a favor? Thank you. I'm very happy to hear you say that. If there's anything I can still do for you, I'd love to work for your company. Please, let me work for your company. A few years later... Yes. Then, we'll do a role play in pairs. Please take turns playing the seller's side and the buyer's side. Let's get started! Good job, Yuto! I think the role play is a great idea. It helps us understand each other's positions and make us act more effectively. Yes, but this is difficult. If you can learn it here, you'll be able to make a big difference in your life as a worker. I think it will be a great help. As usual, you are looking ahead. I'm glad you came to me. 
My company's sales performance has been improving rapidly recently. The employees that Yuto trained are doing well. I'm glad I could be of help. I hope they will continue to work as they are. <laughs> no matter how many years go by, you haven't changed. Break us on. I moved to this company at the same time as you. At the rate you're going now, I'm sure you can aim for the top of the industry. Speaking of which, did you hear? I heard about our former company. I heard their performance is plummeting. Is that so? I heard that they can't get any new contracts at all. And I heard that one after another, existing clients are terminating contracts. I'm going to have to turn down this deal. Your name is Momoka Momozono, right? You can't be considered a worker. That's terrible behavior. Do you have any internal training? Uh. Did you hear? I heard she failed at sales again. I guess that's true for Momoka. Ever since she came to work for us, our business has been declining. We're losing new recruits all the time. Well, it's not good if things continue like this. This didn't happen just a few years ago. Can't you work a little harder, Momoka? Shut up! I hate you, Uncle! Hate? Oh, no! <laughs> That's what I heard. Himuro-san, well done. You managed to get out of there. When he was sent away, I knew where that company was going to end up. I have no taste for sinking ships. <laughs> Yuto, I'm looking forward to working with you. Yuto, I know you work hard until late every day. Why don't we go out for dinner sometime? I'll treat you. You sure? Please, let me join you. I will continue to do my best for my employees. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I am currently in my fifth year after graduating from university and joining a large company that I had hoped to work for. As a salesman, I was busy every day. I'm paid a reasonable salary compared to the same generation, and I think I'm blessed. But lately, more often than not, I don't know why I am working. I'm home. I go home and say so, but there is no answer. I went straight to the living room and I heard her tongue clicking. You're home. Huh. That sucks. She's Ririka. She's my wife. We've been together since we were students and got married when we graduated. When we were together, I thought things were going well. But gradually, she changed. She became a housewife, but at some point, she began to abandon her housework. Her attitude towards me also became colder and colder. Hey, what's for dinner? What? Why don't you just eat instant noodles? I mean, I'm watching TV. Don't interrupt me. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I took an instant noodle stockpiled in the kitchen, filled it with hot water, and retreated to my bedroom. It's been like this for a long time. No breakfast, lunch is convenience store food with minimal allowance, and dinner is instant noodles. Ririka is spending every day in luxury on my salary. No matter how tired I was, there was no word of sympathy from her, and I was made to work like a dog. Then one day... Tanaka! What have you done to me? How could you keep quiet about all this loss? What? Isn't this case yours, not mine? Shut up! Don't give me excuses! The office is quiet as the boss yells at me. He has been eyeing me very hard for some years now. It has become the norm for him to push his chores on me. He always complains about the projects I am assigned. Whenever I achieved something, he would make it sound as if it was his own achievement. And today, he finally tried to put all the blame on me for the mistake of his own projects. Wait a minute! If you look at the records, you'll see who's in charge. Hmm. The upper management is already convinced that this project is your responsibility. Now take responsibility and get out of here! 
The boss had already laid the groundwork with upper management and pushed me into retirement. He's a relative of the president and everyone around him can't resist him. In the end, my resistance was in vain and I was forced to resign. Hmm. So let's divorce. When I reported this to Ririka, she simply said it with a cold face. I don't want a worthless person like you. Then she left the divorce papers and walked out. What the hell is that? I lost my job and my wife in one day. She left me a bank book, but it was almost empty. All that remained was the mortgage on this condo that I had purchased, dreaming of having a happy family with her. Damn, I've done my best in my own way too. Next thing I know, I'm at a convenience store buying alcohol and having a rough time. I don't even have enough money to drink at the bar. How miserable I am! Damn. Damn! Hey, are you okay? Here, drink this. What? She bent down in front of me and offered me the juice she was holding. Oh, don't worry. I didn't even put my mouse on it. You seem to be in a lot of pain, and I thought it might cheer you up a little. Oh, thank you! I was puzzled by this sudden offer from a stranger, but my drunken head can't think straight, so I accept the juice and drink it. It's delicious! Isn't it? I love this juice. Whenever I'm sad or have a hard time, I drink it to recharge my energy. Well, I'm afraid I'm being pushy, but I'd like to know what happened to you. You look so fragile and pained. I can't leave you alone. Ah, yes. She looked me straight in the eye and I found myself telling her, whose name I didn't even know, about what had happened to me. That's what... Uh, that's something you'll want to drink and forget. Yes, but it sobered me up. So I have to face it. But it's no lie that you've been working hard and it will pay off. <laughs> Thank you. You're really cheering me up. She gave her name as Sakura Hanamiya. And then we got to see each other a few more times and we got to know each other. I was in the process of changing jobs, had no money, and although I managed to sell my condo, I was forced to live in poverty. Even though I met Sakura, I can't take her to a good place. Every time we went to a chain restaurant, I had to split the payment. But she never showed me a bad face. I'm happy just to be with Yuto. Sakura gives me a carefree smile when she says that. When I was with her, I was happy and felt like I had energy to live. That's probably one of the reasons I got a new job. Though the salary was lower than at my previous company, I was able to start a new life. After a while, I started dating and living with Sakura. We lived together in a small apartment. Even so, Sakura seemed happy. I was happy to be with her too. I worked hard at my job to do my best for her, got a promotion, and my pay went up. Then one day, I was on my way home from work. A familiar face was waiting for me. I heard you started making money again. That's great. I'd be happy to start over with you now. Ririka said so one-sidedly from above. She seemed to be more frail than before. I was slightly concerned about her condition. But more than that, I was angry at her supercilious and self-serving remarks. We don't need to start over. We're not a couple anymore. What? What do you mean? I've already filed for divorce. Because you put down the divorce papers and left. What? What are you doing? You're the one who's selfish! I've had enough of this! I have someone I love. So don't ever show your face in front of me again! Are you kidding me? Does that mean you're cheating on me? Okay, I'll make you regret it! Ririka gets angry and walks away. I was baffled but relieved to have made it through this. But it wasn't the end of the story. A few days later, on a holiday, I was spending time with Sakura. Ririka came to my house! Who are you? Could it be that you're the woman who seduced you, Yuto? And of all people, Sakura has gone out of her way to respond. 
You stole Yuto from me, and now you're living in comfort. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> when I heard Ririka's hysterical voice, I ran to her and found her about to swing a deadly weapon at Sakura. Stop! I quickly break into them. I manage to grab Ririka's wrist and stop her. Why are you interrupting me? You can hit me, but leave Sakura alone! Ririka still tries to get out of the way, but thanks to the other residents who heard the commotion and called the police, Ririka was taken away by the police. Peace returned, and I apologized to Sakura. I'm sorry for bothering you. That's my ex-wife I was telling you about. Actually, she came to my office too. I turned her away, but kept quiet because I didn't want to worry you. That's why this happened. I'm so sorry! No, it's not only your fault. What? Actually, I was a little curious about her, so I was looking into her. I was wondering if I should tell you, but I kept my mouth shut because I thought maybe I would hurt you more. No worry. If it's okay with you, why don't you talk to me? Okay, actually... Sakura said she felt uncomfortable from the conversation we had when she first met me, and secretly looked her up. And what she found out was that Ririka was connected behind the scenes with my former boss who had put the blame on me. In other words, they were having an affair! They forced me to leave my job and dump me so that they could get married. So they get married, but a short time later, the former boss is found to be dishonest and is fired! Ririka, who was only interested in money, left the former boss, but she never got rid of her ingrained money-spending habits, and it seems she went around borrowing money from various sources. I just wanted to tell you that it wasn't your fault, but I also thought maybe you should just forget about it. I'm sorry. No, thank you! I'm glad you were so kind to worry about me, Sakura. Yuto... I am a worthless man who would be cheated on, but I still want to be with Sakura all the time. That's a given. I love you too. I then offered to transfer me to the company so that I would avoid any unintentional contact from Marika and wouldn't have to see her again. The company accepted my request and offered me a transfer to an overseas branch. Working at an overseas branch in my company is a career path. They pushed me to improve my skills and come back. I thought it would be a problem for Sakura because of my sudden overseas assignment. If you will marry me, I'll gladly go with you. I didn't expect for her to propose. I'm depressed that she told me first, but I was happy that she felt the same way. Sakura, I will definitely make you happy. Please, marry me! Yes! I don't know what happened to Ririka or my former boss. I don't need to know. I got married to Sakura, and we were blessed with children. My work is going well, and I'm happy. I don't know what kind of difficulties await me in the future, but I truly believe that I would do anything for my wife and children. My name is Yuto Tanaka, a college student. I'm a popular guy, if I do say so myself. Oh, Yuto! Wanna go karaoke after school? Sorry, I have a book I want to read. I'll see you next time. Oh, intellectual! But there is actually no one who confessed their love to me. Momoka Momozono is the reason. Yuto, can I talk to you for a minute? I'd like to talk to you about our club team. It's a complicated matter, so if you don't mind, can we talk in private? Well, um... Oh no! Momoka-sama is here! She is so sparkling today as usual! She's won three beauty pageants in a row, her family is wealthy, and she's an excellent student! We'll never be able to beat her! Momoka seems to have a crush on me and doesn't even try to hide it. There are no girls who can compete with her, so no one will confess their feelings to me. And finally... I've been thinking that I'd rather be confessed to, but it looks like you won. It's true that the one who falls in love loses. What? What? I love you, Yuto. Please make me your girlfriend. 
Um, um, I'm sorry. I can't go out with you. What? Why? Do you like someone else? No, I don't. I just want to concentrate on my studies. Don't worry, Momoka. You'll find someone else. Is that what you say to the girl who you dumped? Uh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be a little mean at the end. Well, I guess it's part of being a good girl to leave gracefully. Goodbye, and good luck with your studies. And so our relationship ended without ever starting. The next day, just like that, I politely declined the offer. You are the stupidest man known to mankind. She is Momoka Momozono. I'm surprised there are men who don't want to date her. What a waste. It was immediately known that I dumped Momoka. Relationships at the university were in a state of flux. Did you hear about Yuto-kun? I did. Rumor has it that he likes someone else. I heard he's going to the U.S. What? Wasn't it because he's interested in a friend he's always with? Anyway, it's a good chance. Now is the time to take the offensive. I'm sorry to all the girls who are suddenly excited, but I'm not interested in going out with anyone. Or more accurately, I can't. Because... Hey man, have you ever had a girlfriend? Huh? Yes, I have. Not as much as you, though. I don't. <laughs> can't say. I can't say I've never had a girlfriend! Yes, I'm popular with the ladies, but I've never been in a relationship. Maybe because I went to a boys' school in junior high and high school. Or maybe too many girls like me that I don't get close to them. Whatever the reason, I never had a girlfriend. I turned down Momoka's confession at that time because I've never been in a relationship before. I thought I wasn't good enough for her. No, I can't go on like this. I'm going to have to... Train with a rental girlfriend! What's up? I have an important business call. Good luck! And here comes the weekend. I'm at the rendezvous point for the first date of my life. I'm getting nervous. I chose a girl who is okay for beginners, but I wonder if she'll be okay. Sorry, did you wait for me? No, I just got here. I see. I'm glad to see you today. What's wrong? Is something wrong with me? Do you want me to change my clothes or something? No, it's nothing. I'm just surprised at how handsome you are. She's prettier than her picture. She seems cheerful and kind. This will be a good practice for me. Well, let's go! Yes, that's right. I'm looking forward to seeing where you'll take me. What? Why is Yutokun renting a girlfriend? My name is Momoka Momozono. I don't know if I can say it myself, but I am very popular. But this is the first time I've been rejected by someone. <sighs> I didn't think he dislikes me to that extent. I never thought that Momoka would be rejected. The world is a big place. Oh, I have to go to my part-time job. I guess I'll keep this job too. Good for you. If you retired, your fans would have rioted, right? My customers are all sensible people. No, today's customer is a new one. It can be fate. <laughs> no way. I work part-time as a rental girlfriend under the name of Sumomo. I was going to stop working if I could get together with Yuto-kun, but... I never thought Yuto-kun would come. I seem to be unnoticeable with my wig and makeup, but maybe it's fate? He's so cool! She's staring at me. Is she trying to say something? Oh, right! Should I pay in advance? Sorry, I didn't notice. Huh? Oh, yeah! It's okay, don't worry about it. Thank you. It's my first time to date a rental girl, or rather, to date a girl, so I'm not sure what to expect. <laughs> what? No way! That's a lie! Really? Really? I went to boys' school all my life, and I never really talked to girls. That's why I couldn't help but turn down a confession from a girl who seemed like she was too good for me. Oh! I knew I couldn't go on like this. So I started with a rental girlfriend. Wait, wait. It was not because he wasn't interested in me. It was because he didn't have confidence. He's super cute.
What? Oh, no. I think it's good to be like that. It's pure. Even so, I want to change. Sumomo-san, I need your help. Okay, I'll take care of it. I'll make you perfect. I can't believe I get to practice with someone as beautiful as Momoka-san. I can't believe I'm going on a date with Yuto-kun after all. I'm, I'm so, so lucky. lucky. This is how I went on many dates with Sumomo-san. I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning because I was not used to it. But by the time three months had passed, I had learned to act like a boyfriend. Today was fun too. Where shall we go next week? Sorry. I'd like to pass on next week. Oh, really? It's just that another problem has come up. Well, maybe the week after next? No, I've got some things going on. I'll make an appointment when my schedule opens up again. I see. I'm sorry to hear, but it can't be helped if you're busy. Well, I'll guess I'll call it a day then. Okay, bye-bye. I wonder what's wrong with him. He seems different from usual. The next day... <sighs> For the 37th time. What? The number of times you sigh. I see, it's a prime number. This is serious. What's wrong with you? I'm naturally in love with someone. Oh my god. You can go out with anyone you want. You're not going to tell me she is married, are you? No, no, no. Uh, I guess. You guess. I don't have a choice. She's a rental girlfriend. The new problem is that I'm about to fall in love with Somomo-san. I've been wondering why you haven't been hanging out with me lately. You've been seeing a rental girlfriend? I didn't realize you never had a girlfriend before. No one believed me, so I decided to help myself. I'm sorry about that. It's a bit complicated to hear that you fell in love with a rental girlfriend. It would be annoying to ask her to go out with me for real. I think it's fine as long as it's mutually beneficial. And even if I were to go out with her, what would be different from the current situation? Well, it would be different in many ways. <laughs> no, the only difference is that you'd have to give them money or not. What is a relationship? What is the essence of it? It's too difficult to answer that question. Yuto-kun, you were acting strange, so I got curious and came to check on you. You seem to be troubled. Oh, Momoka! Good timing! Hey, let's hear what the girls have to say. Actually, Yuto seems to be interested in someone. What? Wait a minute! You've got to pick the right person! You can't ask the person who I dumped! Oh, no. No, it's okay. It's been three months already. Don't let the past hold me back. I'm a mature woman. So, what kind of person are you interested in? You don't mind? I'd appreciate it if you'd listen to my problem. No, I'm not sure I'd call her a rental girlfriend. It's someone I've been seeing every week for a while now. Yeah. We've been going on... We've been going on date after date, and it's getting more and more serious. But it was just for business. Okay. Just because I like someone doesn't mean I should confess it to them without thinking. If I'm not careful, I might cause trouble for them. I don't know if that's true or not. He is talking about me, or rather, Sumomo. How about from a girl's point of view? How does it feel to have someone you've been dating for work confess their feelings for you? I guess it's annoying. It's not annoying. You should go for it. Go for it without hesitation. What a quick answer. This is... a great chance! If you like her, go for it! If she doesn't like you, then you can leave gracefully and it won't bother her. No, I'm sure you can be with her. But... I tried not to ask her about her private life in detail, so she might have a real boyfriend. Some men are more open to that kind of work, or maybe she's married? No! No, probably not. Anyway, if you like her, tell her so. Worrying about it won't solve anything. You're probably right. Thank you. I feel much better now. Good luck. I'll hold your funeral after you die. And the weekend. What's wrong? You said you couldn't make it this week, but suddenly... Simomo, I have something important to tell you. What is it? Please go out with me. For real! Yes, that's fine. At first, I met you as a practice to get to know women. But gradually, I started to really like you. 
I know it's against the rules, but... Huh? Okay, please. I mean, I confessed my feelings to you first. Ta-da! Momoka-san! What do you mean? I was working part-time as a rental girlfriend, Simomo. I was Momoka Momozono who was dumped by you. What? I never thought that Yuto-kun, the prince of the campus, had a history of not having a girlfriend. <sighs> At first, the escort was new to me. Oh, you were so cute. <sighs> Just kidding. I know now that I've seen it all. I love you too. It's so unexpected that my brain can't keep up. I'm looking forward to being with you from now on. Okay, let's go. Let's go on our last date as a rental girlfriend, and our first date as a real girlfriend. This is how I ended up going out with Momoka. It's a little selfish of me since I dumped her once, but I'm very happy now. A friend of mine got me tickets to an exhibition of your favorite designer. Whoa, that's great. It was so popular that I couldn't get tickets at all. I got you to stop working as a rental girlfriend after we started dating. So that's at least a little something I can do for you. Yuto Kun, you've become so handsome. You were so cute in the beginning when you were trying so hard to escort me. Well, you see, it was when you were Simomo. So let's forget about it. What? Then I'll go on a date with you dressed as Simomo. Do you want me to? That's a good idea. Hey, who do you like better, me or Simomo? I like you both equally, I guess. You mean? I like you twice as much. Aww, that's so cool of you to say. But I love you too. And so we became the envy of all couples. Our relationship, which had finally begun, would continue.